Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developers on our neat little Patreon server. My name is Raycoms and with me is here Sam Letters and we are both two of the main developers of Mine Colonies that are developing all these things you can see here. Um, Sam Letters is still loading up although he is already in Discord voice. So you should be here every moment. Uh, hi Super Minix, hi Greg, hi The Realm, hi Chef. I did already start the intro before with the voice turned off, obviously. <laughs> so Sam Letters also made it. Hi Sam. Hi. How are you? You're super silent again today. Why do you always make me super silent? That's not nice. No. Okay. Take it. I'm glad you just don't want uh, Shad to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. The stream title says Forkrad. Don't we have any any uh, mods in our chat? So isn't that like the the main task of mods setting the right stream title because the streamer never never managed this. <laughs> Can mods change the stream title? Yeah, if you give them rights to. Mm. So, um, we did announce the beginning of the uh, not the beginning the some details of the uh, next competition already. That is going to most likely start Saturday. Hi Channelies Place, how are you doing? And seeing at the at the team preparations I was I was astonished. I, instead of people trying to apply their problem solving abilities, how to you how to use mine colonies to to fight the raiders, people try to abuse Badly designed Minecraft mechanics in order to fight them. <laughs> to get around. It, yeah. It's like instead of people being like, okay, we need resources, we need blacksmiths, we need uh, whatever, they're like, uh, we need a fisherman, uh, we need enchanters. People are like, oh, we need to abuse the Minecraft villager mechanic to use trades to get OP stuff. And to build farms to get resources. Um, <laughs> never diss him again instead and accept the competition. I, I was astonished how I think Minecraft, I think it's a problem of Minecraft Isn't there that has us in a certain way addicted to instead of using doing things the the way things were designed to actually abuse the existing systems <laughs> you're going down so I'm already announcing so that everyone knows it we are DOPing Minecraft, Minecraft uh, trades, at least on the, uh, the competition server. Although we're probably going to use the code for that for all ongoing servers in the future as well. Um, and we are going to kind of balance trades of villagers better, such that abusing them is actually not worth it. Such that people get the stuff the way things were designed to. Boom. Hi, John. How are you doing? So I'm so I'm, I made John a mod now, and if the stream title is wrong, I can just blame John now. Is, is this so how it's supposed yeah. to work? Upgrade, you yeah, said. that's how, how streaming works. Okay, so I'm, I'm slightly understanding how the streaming business works. 
<laughs> right, John? Um, it seems fortune is lacking something. What's it today then? Okay, you still need vines and red tulips. I think vines I can get. But yes, for all the people in whichever team you are, I'm going to give you a a quick intro to how to how you supposedly defend a medieval city. Okay. Yay, chef! Great. But you got it working again. So the idea of the of the entire thing is that you're having walls but that is not because walls are unpenetrable <laughs> that's not because it's impossible to go up the walls it's not because there's lava on the walls now you got the walls there to a slow down the enemies and B to channel enemies in certain directions, right? You want to channel and like you have the walls and on the walls you put archers archers such that they shoot the the enemies that are slowing down by the walls. A lot of enemies you can actually kill without these enemies ever going close to your knights just by the archers that are in groups on the walls. Yeah? Then the remaining barbarians <sighs> that do not get stuck at the walls at the few locations, most of them are going to funnel through certain locations, and that's that's actually when you where you're going to have gates, right? We added actually mine colonies gates that have that are very similar to how um, I would say medieval city gates would work. Instead of having doors where barbarians like see they can go through the door and want to break it. The gates are also similarly designed. And the idea is then that you put then those gates at certain locations. Um, and you put Whoa, a fantastic. bunch of additional What's archers that? around those gates. So while they are stuck at the gate trying to break them. Um, yes, sir. Wow, this I looks fantastic. Oh. What's next? The... <laughs> They get stuck around the gate while archers shoot at them, right? Yeah, they're not in there yet. Uh, I think they're just missing to be ported now. If I'm not mistaken. Um, the next step is then when they break through the gates, yeah, after the gate, like everyone who watched the medieval based movie, you're going to have a lot of knights there that are going to take on the remaining barbarians. Now the remaining raiders should be in significantly smaller numbers because you've taken a lot of them down with uh, archers on the walls up to this point, right? Okay, let's get started. Um, trapped chest. Okay, I'm going to teach that. Nether brick stairs, I'm going to also teach. Okay. Um, if they, like, for the people who were uh, building on a version where there are no gates yet, you would then use uh, doors or something, double the, like, a bunch of different subsequent doors, for example, or just your own walled and multi-block gate design but you have the wall curving a little bit in such that the barbarians are also going to see this kinda as a wall and are going to path in that direction right um, I wanted to teach trap chest trap. Really, you can make a trapped chest from a trapped chest mit with a tripwire hook? Really, vanilla? Is it vanilla or quark? 
maybe it was a quack quack fat chest. So that's why. Oh, I can't teach that recipe at the mechanic. Chest. Mm. That's that's bad news. Uh, there appears to be no worker that can do trapped chests at the moment. So I'm going to have to make them. So. Wow, we only have 20 gravel in our warehouse. Uh, I need a different type of wood as well. It's pretty low. Can we just teach the stone the nether brick stair recipe quickly? Yes, the colonists will follow dirt, dirt paths that are made with a shovel. I know. Stone brick stairs. Yeah, I need a second kind of stairs. I also noticed that. A second kind of wood. Yeah, that bothers me a little bit. Um, teach. Nether brick stairs. Done. Okay. And I get a second wood type here. Ah yes, we have people working on the wiki, but it's a uh, crowd kind of like community crowdsourced. I think that's the right word. So it always needs a little bit to for these for all of these things to get to get added. So you have to have patience with us, young Padawan. one. Um, here. Um, then, how do I tra wait. Trapped chest. I need a trip wire hook and it's an ingot, a stick, and a plank. It's expensive if you ask me. Two trip wire hooks. Oh, it's two each, so that's not so bad. Okay, two trapped chests in the warehouse. Now I just need the black concrete. Do I still have sand on me? I do have sand. Um, I don't think I have sand. Oh, I have. And gravel? I think we don't... I do have a little bit of gravel, okay. So I just need um, the black dye. So I need... what is the name of it? Maybe black dye? Yes, we have 13 black dye that works. What part do you need black dye? Black concrete. Oh, I made that already. You made? Uh, I made a bit of extra. I think you need that more of that in the future for sure. Not sure. We don't have so many. Yeah, for the don't delivery so man, we always need it. And I, as far as I know, for the enchanter, we're going to need a lot of it. Yeah, in this mod pack we can't milk squids, unfortunately. Why to me? Done. Um, did you see on Forgecraft there is a way to milk squids with a bug bucket? Gives you three, three. black dyes without cooldown. <laughs> yeah, kinda sounds OP. Yeah, it's very OP. I'd, I'd prefer just doing it than. But I mean, on, on Fortcraft, is like. Everything is OP. 90% anyway, is OP. Yeah. What is not is OP like on Fortcraft is the question, right? Nearly all mods on there add like infinite resources of this, infinite power for this. Yeah, yeah. It's like balancing. 
Oh, what? Benedict? What's that? We asked with Mojang, they didn't know either. Uh, hi, Tinty Todd. Yeah, the problem is that Minecraft itself is so unbalanced, it's incredible, that mods don't really care much about balance either. It's like almost yeah, every single mod tries to add creative flight somewhat. And I, I, I talk with people on Forgecraft and people in general don't enjoy it a lot either. But it's just like, I think it's just like trying to force people like, I have created flight, come to me. It's like kind of, I don't know, I would say this. Just like... Like buzzwords for, for making people use mods. Not, not only, not necessarily buzzwords, but it's more like, I don't know, like throwing sugar at people like, come, come, I have everything. Hey ball we need. Okay, I think the farmer can do that. Just do everything but with better balance ideas. Um, BYG mod? What is BYG mod? It's uh, all biomes you will uh, go. Apparently it has OP armor. Okay. We have uh, well, Sam okay. letters look into this. You can be sure there's nothing of that left then. <laughs> Um, a ball, a bale. I mean, we can likely uh, disable recipes with data packs somehow. Yeah, we. In the in the worst case, if there's no config option or something like that, we can just disable the recipes for it relatively easily. I never made a data back yet, so... <laughs> At least with craft tweaker or something like that, it would be relatively easy to achieve. Yeah. Um, so, let's see, Connor should be fine now. And Avery and For like Fortune is still needing those tulips. Oh, oh, oh. Question for Sam Letters. Would a piston trap that smashes the barbarians with block damage damage them? Oh. No, it doesn't. If you say so. I see people still trying to find workarounds. People are always trying to find workarounds yeah. in but, Minecraft. But the thing they aren't considering is that the more difficult barbarians will get and the more smarter they will get. Yeah, so if the barbarians pass always by your colony without killing any without killing any of your knights or archers the raids in difficulty is going to increase more and more, making it more likely there that they're being a them being able to kill your citizens actually. So it is better to just have them really engage in combat and then have them really balanced around your combat strength of your colony instead of trying to prevent them to really attack your colony. Because then, at one moment, when they break through, it's going to be like a, a dam breaking and you're wasting half of your colony, right? No, just let them fight the guards. <laughs> Because even if you have sacrificial lambs, the thing is at one moment the dam is going to break unless you have them engage in a realistic combat scenario against your against your guards. If they really engage your guards how they're supposed to, um, they're very unlikely to easily uh, wipe everyone out because they're going to wipe out one guard, and then next raid maybe two guards, and then three guards. And then you can like, okay, we need more guards now to balance it. 
you can grow with that but if they never if you have them like preventing to actually engage in serious combat without your guards the moment they hit your guards they're probably already seriously outclassing them in the combat and that is definitely not what you want oh i had some nice idea for increased difficulty what was when it when raiders get uh, higher difficulty modifiers they do break more blocks and maybe teleport a bit I wouldn't add teleport, but I do like the increased block break and ladder play yeah. speed. I Teleporting think that would be more like ultimate difficulty level. Yeah, that would definitely be something uh, ultimate, but I do definitely like that. If you say so. Compass, compass, compass. 34 compass. Did the... Delivery man just take all that compass with him. Doing the round. No. But, but I mean, if, if raids end up being too easy, I have got some ideas still lying around I wanted to add anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have always ideas. <laughs> I, I remember some something about uh, TNT Raiders. That would be fun. I mean, like... Um, making raiders more difficult is really easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finding workarounds is not. Yeah, you. That's like I really, for a really, really good reason. Like when when I made up the teams and I put Sam and me in team one, I directly put Sean Fall in team B. Because. He knows better how to defend colonies than me and Sam Letters probably by now. <laughs> Hi Padero90, yeah. how are you doing? He definitely knows how to do that. So, but you don't, like the thing is, you don't have to engage in combat with them. We don't, actually the reason we made guard uh, Bavarian so strong and guards so strong as well is that both outclass the player in a way that such that the player is kind of like the how would I say it the weakling king in the medieval ages that's going to stand on the sidelines and coordinate things and not engage in the actual combat because that would be a waste well you can still engage but with a bow and not the main combat force yes like not you in normally the, are in not in the front team. line you can like take out some side barbarians while you take out the main ones for, for example I mean that also helps uh, those players which aren't like that skilled in Minecraft combat because they don't need to fight that much of them Yes, you just put your guards there at the right locations and you do that like you would do it in Age of Empires or the Settlers you have the knights and archers do the things. Yeah, we did hear that 116.3. Is it out? I thought it was only like pre-release or, or snapshot Might or so. Out. But it's like uh, three tiny bug fixes or so. Yeah, it's only tiny bug fixes. Because Although you never know, sometimes they add a lot something. of other broken stuff in it as well. Just to force API changes on us. Oh, it's out, out. Yeah, so we gotta wait for Forge now. So, four months? <laughs> yeah, if it's only a few bug fixes, it's probably going to be after the weekend, it's going to be out. Yeah, true, they don't need mappings after all. We still need our lacking tulips, but I do have some compass to give to the um, florist now. I'm hoping for the florist to get us tulips. By the way, are, are those uh, community mappings official yet? 
Mm, I'm not sure. I would guess so. At least some version of them. <sighs> I don't think they got pushed to a fish there yet. But yeah, they are very late, kind of. No, what? Not good enough for you? No, what? Not good enough for you? Here, contest. Um, yes. How you would defend in colony survival in that game is the is the way you're supposed to do it in mine colonies as well. I mean, in the end, they. I wonder sometimes if they played my colonies or so because it's just too similar to to not be related. Yeah, a poppy. It's only a poppy. Come on. Can't disable anything on page two yet, right? I can. At least I can turn off the poppy. The poppies are actually useful. Lily of the Valley is definitely not. Yeah, I think the colony survival one is definitely like uh, my colony's cool. Doom to doom, but it's definitely my colony's clone. If it was an ex developer or anything, I don't know, but it's definitely my colony's clone. Not that we care, because as far as I saw, it's kinda not my type of game. But it's neat. I mean, you can make always, like I said, like if you really, really want it, you can make it tower defense style with a maze where you got them going yeah, through yeah. a maze basically. Barbarians walking back and forth and are just shooting at them. And the barbarians walk back and forth and etc. I mean, I prefer that a million times over the trying to hacky work around way. Guards are there to fight and necessary, if necessary, die. That's why we have combat academies and archeries. Talking about that, I do hope that we we need those updated urgently. Because they still don't have the target block. The schematics. I think I'm going to add to the code either target block or the old way. Oh, hey, babe. To have like a. Yeah, I mean, you can add. Transition period. Probably a good word. Where is the florist? Oh, all we do is text base and they can shoot at anything. I can help, I guess. Um, we're still waiting for what? Do, what do we wait for? Poppies, I think it was. Blue orchid. Avery. Uh, I think this will be fine. Yeah, that's that's the channel idea. You should aim at channeling guards into kill zones. Definitely. Yeah, that's how wards do work. But you will like you need like four kilons or something like that. Yeah, you should have. You should be prepared to have multiple, because if the col since the colonies are going to be very big, the they are not going to walk once around the entire colony to reach the zone. So you probably would need around four. Maybe even more. Yeah, I think four is probably fine. I think four is even too few for our current colony. I'll take care of it. No. Like if you put one into the middle of each side, I'm would pretty be sure not all barbarians would end up at one. No, not all like, of them are going to end up, but that's why you're going to still have archers around the wall, such that the remaining ones get, get caught by that, right? That's the... No, I yeah, not okay. good enough for you. Oh, it's it's random. 
the appearance of guards of the barbarians can be the border can be the corner there is I think no tend I think it's absolutely random yeah and then, and then I, okay. I still need tulips Harrison give me some tulips come on if you say so dexterity 100 hi Ross how are you doing do to do, do Harrison Okay, still. Hi, Dragon Hunter. Yes, I think that's that's probably the best idea to have gates on all four sides and have them be the ca the kill zone. By the way, gates can only be made by some mechanic. Oh yeah, and gates, by the way, can only be created by the mechanist. Okay. So early on you would have more like some walls with a set of doors there. But then later on they have the actual walls. I with got gates. better. Again, cornflower. How's the work going? And he's almost out of compost. And we still didn't get the single, a single tulip. Not even this. We got one orange tulip. Yay! Better than nothing, I guess. Although I'm a bit impatient, impatient, I guess. Didn't expect that to be so fast. Let's see if there's any useful flowers going over here. Maybe. The botania flower is a little bit annoying because they kind of distract. They look very similar to the vanilla ones. Yes, you can make a mechanic uh, one with the new gates, but that would have to be done for level three walls. Like higher levels. Such that exactly. Wait, is this. Is this a tulip? No. Here! Darn it. Glow rose, come on! Everywhere those darn botania flowers. I'm running over here and I hope to find something that is not a botania flower nor a busier bee flower. I didn't know that we had this kind of biome close by. Yeah. Thank god. Those are vanilla, aren't they? Nope. Come on. <laughs> can it be so difficult to find tulips? Yes, it can. I, I don't blame I, I, the schematic though. I do blame all those different kinds of flowers here. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you give your builders too many options. They just do some then. Oh, I'm in someone else's colony. Oh, so close. Yes, here's Daisy Boy's colony. Quark. Quark, we have Quark going. Interesting. 
There are a lot of those fairy rings though. I've noticed. Yeah. Noticed that as well. That those are overly common if you ask me. Yeah, they are. It's the watch making them all. Could be a war teleport thing. Yeah, probably. Oh. Getting rid of those lilacs. There are a lot of these here, and that's good. There's a fairly good shoot in there. Not anymore, I would guess. Only in planes. Sunflower planes. And flower planes. Even though in this Terraforge, I, get, I would guess Terraforge changing that rule and completely I could imagine jumpy jumpy hmm mm hmm But yes, so far I've not seen a single tulip. So Terraforge might have used a similar rule as vanilla. This year is more although tulips wasn't that more a tropical flower originally. I don't remember how. Not sure. Tulips were came to be. I know our florist can make some. Mm. Did our florist grow a few? Not sure. Can check. Oh, I'm in this part of Minecraft of the world again. He got some pink tulips. Yeah, four pink tulips and two orange. Which flower do you, uh, which color Red. do you need? For example, spider webs could be used to slow barbarians down as well. Getting a few of those spider webs. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a spider spider web tree apparently. Hey, if if raiders get too easy, I could add my my idea of the doomsday event. <laughs> right? A random uh, thing where it's like a chance for your entire colony to be wiped out. What do you think about that? No, no, it, it maybe it can defend it. Who knows? If it would be like a uh, raid, but not only raiders and barbarians, but like waves of uh, all possible mobs. <laughs> yeah, we already. I think we uh, we talked about it already. It would be fairly interesting if we could put. Um, additional vanilla mobs into raids as well, like oh, we those. Can, sure. That should be very easy, hmm? because you could just uh, spawn the vanilla mob and um, give him the AI with high priority. A black square. I think that means it couldn't find any fuel. With the setup requirements. And black square is this unknown item. Yeah. Yeah, no item. They got planes here. Those are the wrong ones, probably. Jump. Which are you searching? <laughs> 
um, red tulips. I, I can craft some if you want. I'm going to try in this biome yet. If I don't find anything here, then we can craft some. Because I think it was red too. Botania, mana pool, and it cycles through all flowers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which makes sense. This here is a plains biome. So this, in fact, should be growing them. If not, we craft them. By the way, always a good tip when uh, exploring for your fitting mine colony place. Takes the flowers along, which you find. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did this good. already with a few flowers. But when we were exploring, I, I think I don't remember taking any tulips yeah, with us. Way. But it's like always take the flowers along. And vines are good to have. And yeah, bamboo. vines, seeds, bamboo, all kinds of these kinds of things. Always smart to take along. Like andesite, granite, diorite as well. Yeah. Especially when we have yeah, with when we don't have quark installed, those shouldn't be so bad then. Yeah, but often you don't find it when you need it. Just uh, something broke with your stone smelter? Within the newest version, I just I did just recently fix something with the with the stone smelter. Um, charcoal is not working anymore as fuel. Um, does he have charcoal as a recipe set? To create it because then I think did Macla fix that already not sure if Macla fixed that already but there are some issues in regard to that yeah Uh, you disabled it on the second page. Uh, you might add that should be fixed by, but that was never really working well with the charcoal. You'd always use it as fuel by chance, even. Um, although in the newest. Um, it, after you cancel it, he's still going to continue using it, but then for the next recipe, it shouldn't use it anymore. Yeah, I need feather falling on my boots as well. Yeah, let's use our magic teleport mag. What to do? Um, yeah, use use botania. Go along. I think there's even a okay. hacky better with mine colonies way. Not sure. To do so. I can try out um I think there was. There we got. Oh yeah, you can just take two copies. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of this. It's pretty easy taking two poppies. Yeah. Of that game design. You can even get wither roses through that. How is that? Oh, wither roses are the end of the cycle. Apparently. Yeah. I mean at Botania at least you got a like it's 
using yeah. up mana. The Patania way to transfer them I think is fine. I don't see a problem with that. What I don't like of Patania is A, the way to they respond to lag reports and B um, the creative flight. I do not enjoy the creative flight. Yeah, creative that was red right tulips. Always bad. Like, why do you have like? I don't have a problem with Elytra, right? Because it's kind of out of control. Smell of timber. Flight. Yeah, it's it's hard to control and not like completely flying. Uh, mm -hmm. You can just like. Mm -hmm. Straight start mm -hmm. upwards. But I think you can use elite elytra and fireworks or so. Even from the crown? To fly forever. I think so maybe. Um yeah, we are working continuously on setting up the uh, these mechanics on the wiki as well. You have to have patience until our wiki people get to it. However, it is completely open source and crowdsourced. So if you want that really badly on the wiki, you can contribute this information there as well. Um, in terms of YouTube videos for specific mechanics, I do not really have the time lately to make any YouTube videos on specific mechanics. Although I do invite you to check out Kaisen's video series. He has a lot of videos on specific My Colony's mechanics. Maybe you can find something there. Uh, we need Peter back to make videos on these mechanics. <laughs> oh, but maybe Eshad can do that while he's uh, working on the quarry. While he's not working on the quarry. <laughs> So you can choose uh, make make videos or make query. query. <laughs> um, he did update chat chain. Oh, that's true. And that that's is true, finished as far as I know. Is pretty active at least. Um, and it is because the main problem is because he can do chat chain main a lot and these kinds of things kind of from his job when he has nothing else to do. But Mine Colonies is like obviously a game no, and not an IDE where he's developing stuff. I mean you can look into the IDE and develop yeah, but to test Mine stuff. So how's the work? Test. Yeah, you can like post test later hmm. when you're not at work. Red concrete we also need. Yeah, we got some red dye again. I have some copies left here. Yeah, all, all these dyes and flowers and it's, it's just terrible. Yeah, we we do we did get the florist super late. And yeah, and we don't have a dyer yet. We Either don't have way. a dyer. For example, something I tried on the Forgecraft server with my colony there, for the people who are watching the series there, was to get the crafters very early. Like I already got the stone mace and the stone smelter, a sawmill and a blacksmith. And uh, before a lot of other workers. I have not played with the beekeeper myself yet. Either. So I'm myself unsure about how he works. Yeah, never tested it. I would have to play with the beekeeper myself and see how it's working. Yeah, the concrete mixer is super easy. It's barely in any inconvenience. It's just a crafter that creates concrete dust and concrete powder. Oh. That's it. There's no magic to it. Will the colonists follow the path made by the school tool? What's a school tool? Yes, that's that's the, that's as far as I know as well.
Oh, I want to get puppies. Make a bit of... No, we had we had red concrete in the warehouse. That's why I didn't make any. Yes, I said already, yes. These colonists will follow uh, paths made with that. Talking about that, I do want to set up white waypoints in our colony. High set horizon. Um, infrastructure. Waypoint. One here. One here. <coughs> One here. One year. Here. Can we see? Oh, nice. We can see how the Fletcher looks finished. And at this, is it run? No, it doesn't render the actual build block. Into them here. Okay. I think that is going to help a lot. Keep the colonists on track. Literally. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, over there as well, another one. Do, do, do. The builder here is coming along slowly. Ooh. <laughs> the dims. to get some more white wool from the sheep here. Excuse me. Let's see beaucoup. Okay, we got these. Um, now we have to bring them to the warehouse. Should have a stash. All the time running to the warehouse. That could be solved better with a stash, probably. White wool. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Yes, citizens use rails. Um, probably now when they get up from bed, you can see that at a few locations. There no way up here. That one here, you can see. Taking the rails to work. <coughs> that is. What Don't are play you? with the fire. Yeah, he's still taking the the long way around. So I should set some some up here as well. That should work. So that they take the upper path to work. That would be nice. Uh, up to now I only saw guards coming up and down there. That should be actually the best way for them to go. Um, do them. Um, do them. <laughs> Now that one is still digging out the area of the combat academy, I guess. Let's mm. see how that is going along. 
And then he's going to fill in a lot of space where this huge hole is as well. Oh, but it's not so bad. It's actually it already building. Upgrade, you said. He's already blazing. Nice. Already finished the uh, removal step. He's blazing, filling this hole with sandstone. Not expensive at all, if you ask me. <laughs> that is getting filled up. Yeah, I'm going to do another two layers of this all over the hole. One of that part of the hole at least. Uh, I, I can help, help you with you that. With that. <laughs> Um, you done. Yeah, all three layers. I can help him with that actually. Dim -di dim dim dim. I do have some in my inventory, if I'm not mistaken, too. Uh, here we go. Helping our builder. Since our nice new building way and it works nicely, we should... Yeah, or directly detected it. He is relatively smart with that directly splits those calculations which kind of has a nice speed up I can actually help him nowadays fill in holes decently as well I have more I have more um, and I have lag as well Yeah. Now I'm back. Okay. No, he doesn't earn experience for blocks I place. But he gains experience. The biggest boost of experience a builder gets is for finishing a building. So, you, in practice, you increase the XP per second he gains could say okay I can leave the rest to him okay okay ouch I do definitely do need better falling on those boots. Um, so, um, today is a relatively uh, a shorter stream today. Uh, we only have an hour and seven minutes on the clock now. We got a few things done and got our colonists set up, uh, especially Origin should have the stuff for the florist now, which is a decent progress we got all of the flowers and we placed a bunch of waypoints around the colony that should make the pathing a little bit smoother I'm going to have to leave um, I hope you enjoyed today's even though short episode we are going to be online tomorrow again and do not forget on Saturday we're going then to start streaming from the competition server as well Probably mainly from the competition server and only here and there checking out here our colony as well. Um, 
have a good night everyone thanks for engaging in the chat with us as always thanks sam letters for joining in as always as well yeah so, good night everyone see you tomorrow have a good one ciao ciao good night